Well, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Army. It's your boy, Big Red, back for another Big Red Brew review. And what are we drinking today? Well, I'm watching the Saints playoffs game here, and they're getting their ass handed to them. It, it's 14 nothing at the end of the first quarter, so it's time to get some beer. That it is, that it is. And what are we drinking? We got a special brew here. I saw it in the store. It was a little expensive for one beer, but it's an import. It's uh, something that I was uh, kind of wanting to see here. I don't know the name of the uh, company. The name of the company is Robinson. And it was created by, not the company, but the beer, none other than Iron Maiden. We got some Trooper Ale. Iron Maiden Premium British Beer. Made in Chelsea, England. 4.7% alcohol by volume. This is a, what's this, a 19 ounce beer? And uh, this isn't even, it is the Trooper Ale. It's, well, I don't know if this is the ale or if this is some uh, lager. I think it's just an ale. But it's the Trooper. And guess what? It's two minutes to beer time. Yeah, it is, peeps. Pop that open. And this is six, 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 the number of the brew. Smells like regular beer. It's light in color. Uh, it's, it's a little darker than light in color, but... Tastes like regular beer to me. It's definitely not a stout. But yeah, it, it's made in England. Imported to the good old US of A. Created by Iron Maiden. I don't want to be a power beer. So it's like two dollars and eighty-seven cents. Well, there's the sticker from the store. Two dollars and eighty-seven cents for one beer. That's high. And they put the sticker right over the story because there's a story on the back that I wanted to read. Let's see if we can't get this sticker off without peeling off some of this paint here. Anyway, it's it's okay. It's not spectacular. And the reason why they put this sticker over it is because the store normally sells this in a six-pack. But I guess this store has problems with either damage or people just popping one off or whatever. And trying to buy just one. Because there's a section with just single beers. Where you could buy them. Create your own six pack. Buy your own single. But anyway it's got a story on the side. Onward onward rode the god. The charge of the light brigade. Which inspired the Iron Maiden song. The trooper. Took place at the battle of. Bell Cave, 1854, during the, I can't see, during the something war, where 60 British cavalry something charged the asset of the Russian artillery, the Gallant but foolhardy assault resulted in a massive loss of life and came about due to a misunderstanding after 
and it's hard to read after an order given by the commanding officer Lord what's the Lord's name Lord Regan anyway that's the story in the history of the song the trooper came about from a battle wow didn't know that but I do know that a lot of Iron Maiden songs are actually uh, after a lot of literature or whatever Iron Maiden's like a thinking man's metal I mean murders in the rue beer you know murders in the rue morgue I mean come on it's a classic uh, piece of literature you know I mean murders in the rue morgue um, uh, what else this is the seventh beer of the seventh beer Mm -hmm. Rhyme of the Ancient Brewer. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's a bunch of Iron Maiden beer songs, right? I don't know. But I mean, it tastes just like regular beer. I mean, you could put this in the Budweiser next. I mean, I couldn't tell the difference. It just tastes like a regular beer. That's the thing about beer. Everybody's like, ooh, let me get a craft beer. Let me get this. Let me get that. There's not many, I mean, like you could take all the light beers, line them up, they pretty much all taste the same. You can take all the dark stouts, line them up, unless they have a flavor in them, they all taste about the same. So it's like, you know, you have your favorite because of your region or your favorite because of popularity or whatever but it's it's just the same stuff different labeling that's what it tastes like to me i mean there's not much difference i mean in light beers you could taste the difference in uh heineken because it's got a skunky taste you could taste the difference in corona because it's mexican piss but normally it's all the same only the names have changed. No, no Bon Jovi up in here. This is an Iron Maiden beer. What are you thinking, Big Red? I know that's what y'all thinking. What is Big Red thinking? Ooh, watch out. Don't get that on you. My poor saints. I might have to get another beer. Because my poor saints are getting freaking beat upon. It's the third. It's the second quarter. Fourteen and nothing. The Eagles have the ball. Look at that big fat guy. I mean, I'm a big fat guy, but I'm not running around on national TV with my belly hanging out. He looked like he had a belly shirt on. What was that? What was that, dude? For the Eagles? Ah, oh, my Saints are getting butt raped. Is that right, baby? Is that right? But back to this. I mean, it's it's okay. It's 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 a novelty. It's I don't know, but uh, this is kind of eh. Hmm. Cool packaging, to say the least. <sighs> Other than that, I, I don't know. I don't know. Finally, something went my saint's way. Fake punt. And there you have it, first down. Gotta love when the Saints do something sneaky like that, you know? Gotta love it, gotta love it. Oh, 
I'll say this. It might taste like other beers. But it's a lot smoother. Easier to get down. So maybe that's the difference when people like a certain beer. The smoothness of it. Not so much the taste, but the smoothness. Because, I mean... It's not super bitter. And it's not super bitey. You know, but it, it, it's... Hmm. It's okay. It is what it is. Uh, So this is going to go a lot different than most beer reviews because they're going to get cool points for Iron Maiden crafting or, or inspiring, creating, whatever. So Robinson, for your Trooper beer, charged with flavor, it says so right there, charged with flavor. I don't know if you'll be able to get that without the glare, charged with flavor. I mean, it's cool packaging. Created by Iron Maiden, one of the best metal bands to come out of the 80s. Technically, they started in the 70s with the original singer, Paul Diano, who only sang on uh, two albums. And then my boy Bruce Dickinson take over. And then Bruce Dickinson decided to do something on his own, went solo, and somebody else took over. And then Bruce Dickinson's back, and guess what? They sound as good as ever. I saw them about two years ago. A friend of mine came from New Orleans and said, Hey, I got an extra ticket. You want to go? I was like, I can't afford it. He goes, No, I'm giving you the ticket. Let's go. It's like, okay, we going. Went and saw Maiden and Ghost. You saw some of that footage. If you want to see some of that footage, go look at some of my older videos in the miscellaneous section. Holy smokes. Dude, Bruce Dickinson's almost 60 at, the, at that point, and he's running around like a freaking madman. But back to this beer, Robinson, for your Iron Maiden created Trooper beer, I'm going ahead and giving y'all that 4.5 flip-flops, yo. It tastes like every other beer. It's a little smoother, but the cool packaging puts you over the top. So there you go. Run to the beer. Go get you a beer, boy. Go get you one of these Trooper freaking beers. Over here, you got that subscription button. Please consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Hit that notification bell. Let you know when I have new content over here. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Like this beer, I would appreciate that thumbs up. And with that being said, down below is the comment section. Type me a comment. I'll type you one back above the comment section. But below the video, you have the description of the video. Links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Link to this channel's homepage, like we did said before, where you can see all the older content separated by series. There's also a physical address. If you want to send Big Red hate mail, fan mail, love letters, uh, a beer to drink, a uh, candy bar to try, something. I don't know. You want to send me something? Send me something. I'll review it, and you get your 10 seconds of fame. There's all, you can send me a recipe if you want to see me cook on the Ghetto Gourmet. Yeah. I'll try it. What the hell? Make sure it's a detailed uh, recipe or something. You know, hey, that's what that's down there for. You don't have to, but if you want to, there you go. There's also a link to this channel's PayPal account, where if you want to sponsor a video, you want to help get better camera equipment, better editing equipment, a new computer, because I could sure use one. This one's about to die. Um, whatever. You could. Just know you don't have to, but it's there if you feel the need. Anyway, I want to thank each and every one of you guys from the bottom of the big fat belly to the top of the almost bald dome. Thanks for watching. I just want you to do me that itty bitty favor. Tell your mom, tell your pa, tell your greasy greasy grandma, share the video with your family and friends. Show them how you get down with Big Red. Maybe they'd like to have a brew too. You don't know unless you share the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time when we belly up to the bar for another Big Red Brew review. If you made it this far... Hashtag Eddie. And you'll know why. If you're a Maiden fan, you'll know why. Just hashtag Eddie.
I'm out. I just